What is going on guys? My name is Sing23 HD and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 beta gameplay. This video is not gonna have any gameplay actually, she's gonna be updating um that the fact that Infinity War is actually listening to the Call of Duty community for once. After all these promotions of like, oh, we're gonna cater for every single play style, we're listening to the community, we have gather all the feedback in all these three years since 2019 and i i don't know about you guys but for me it's the same thing every single call of duty year but this time around we're gonna get a call of duty for two years but enough of me complaining about that let's just read this um blog post or news article however you want to call it from infinity war which is the community update for beta weekend one um and it starts like any other um presentation like hey thank you for playing with us a weekend one uh we look forward to many more of you joining us on weekend two across all platforms for those who you don't know the first weekend was actually a early access for playstation users then it was two days open access for playstation users now this weekend is going to be week number two actually is going to be for those who pre-ordered it on xbox and pc they're going to be able to play it two days early as well as the people on the playstation keep in mind so if you got a playstation you don't have to wait until the open beta you can actually start playing from thursday and i believe it is thursday and friday where they get the early access and saturday sunday and monday is open for everybody regardless of the console so they can test out the platform the cross platform and stuff but all right so throughout weekend one we play the game watch the game being played read your feedback and talk to many of you at a high level leading into weekend two we fix various scratches good Address a few gameplay exploits. I would assume that this is regarding the wall hack, the wall breaching, and some weapons that were not available to get attachments like the AK-74U. There was a workaround where you can get attachment into it. They they actually hot fix it, but some people got got the class already set up and now that class is already in there. Patch some map geo and lightning issues and upgraded progression for some gunsmith related bugs. I would assume that this is related to the you unlock it at level 15, the Lackman, I believe it's 726, but you wasn't able to actually get it. You can get the Lackman 556 so you can unlock the MP5, but that you had to do a walk around for that one. But on Twitter, they actually send out uh, like a post regarding feedback on readiness and, and stuff like that and most of the things were actually upvoting for like lovely level i mean lobby dismantling and such audio was one of them the minimap was a big one same with dead silence the footsteps and uh, another few things which they talk about it in here and we're gonna get right into it so here are some things we heard from you on Mini dot rules currently in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, we only show enemy player dots when the UAV is active. The design reason for it is that we do not want to punish players for firing their weapons. We also want players to actively search out the origin of a gunshot versus just traveling directly to where the dots is on the minimap. We continue to gather feedback on how the game is playing in regards to this topic. So basically, they're giving you the middle finger to everybody that complained about the minimap and saying, we're not going to change it. We talk about all this, uh, we cater to every Call of Duty player, every playstyle and all this. But then again, that playstyle is out of the window. So take that out because we want to, you know, pun do not punish people for firing their weapon. Uh, then why do we got suppressors for it? If you don't want to get punished because you fire an unsuppressed weapon, then put a suppressor on. If you don't like suppressor then you know you're gonna show up on the minimap and if you don't like to be shown on the minimap then the other option is to play hardcore as simple as that target tracking we see feedback that it's hard to track target once you get into a firefight we agree that this is an issue and we have changes in coming to reduce muscle smoke op opacity and to increase visibility of the muscle flash to help engage someone who is firing at you these changes should help we uh help with tracking your opponent in combat We'll also investigate in more ways to visually differentiate enemies and friendlies outside the standard nameplace above 
the opposing player sends. We'll be trying a few changes in weekend two. More than that later this week. So by the first dot in here in the target tracking, it is true. If you if you play the Modern Warfare 2 beta right now, you can see that this every time you shoot your weapon, the, the muscle smoke is so crazy. Like you're shooting a cannon or something. And the muscle flash from the weapons, this is like another one. Uh, you can see it from the enemy perspective. You can see it on your own perspective. Some people are complaining. Some people are not complaining. It's just that for me, it wasn't that bad except for the muscle smoke. The muscle smoke was intense. The other one is that right now, if you play weekend one of the beta, enemies were not showing up at, at all. No red dot above their name tag. No names. No nothing. Which is like, you know that they were enemy because they didn't have a name tag over themselves. But if you... For me, that wasn't a big deal. I kind of like it that way. I play hardcore, so it don't matter to me anyways. So I only go by um, clothing. So user interface. We've seen the feedback around difficulty editing perk packages, managing loadout, and exiting the armory. We identify some UX issues as well as some bugs. These things are, these are things that we're not able to adjust in time for the beta weekend too, but they're on top of the mine ahead of the launch. The user interface, yes, the, the, the user interface suck. Actually, it did suck. It, it was so, so bad, so bad. Like, to get to one screen, to another screen, to actually put attachments, it, it was it was so much that for a simple user, it's just going to be overwhelming for a little bit until they get used to it, and then it'll be fine. But it needed it needed a little bit more. It looked like, uh, like those free-to-play games that you can download, so... Moving on, perks. We've seen buried feedback on the perk package system. They suck. Some players love it. Others feel that it's an unnecessary departure from the original system, which is facts. We feel it is nice to check up how perks work and to the general progression of the match. We also balance the ultimate perks to be more powerful as you earn them later in the match. We'll continue testing throughout beta weekend too, including drastically accelerating the earn rate of these to see how players react, I will go remains improving the float of perks ahead of lunch. Dude, just get rid of it. Simple as that. Get rid of it. I, I listen. I'm all in for for changes for for once. I I think that the perk system like that is not that bad until you actually realize that if you join late into a game, other people might have already their bonus perk or their ultimate perk and you're gonna be in a disadvantage no matter what and that is like what happened on that one don't don't you want to be quote unquote oh we're gonna cater to all play styles but then again you put a system that you're gonna get goals at the end of the match essentially or if you join late you're not gonna get it as fast as other people might already have it so that rushing mentality is out the window because you're not gonna play anymore like that rushing for the simple fact that the enemy has a UAB, you don't got ghost. Change the perk system. Put it three perk, that's it. Just like it's been for the past Call of Duties. It's been years. And it has been proven that it works. That's for some tweaking. You need to tweak so you don't make perks like for example Cold Blood it be on the same as Ghost or the same as Fast Sense or Hardline or something like that. Anyway, moving on. Dead silence. Ooh. It's another hot topic as many players express as they would like to see us as a perk instead of a field upgrade. We believe it is important for the game health that rushers are not able to move at high speed without consequences. That silence as a field upgrade creates a balance between freedom of movement and predictability of combat. Wow. So... Remember at the beginning of the video when I said that they've been marketing this Call of Duty for like all types of game players and, and play styles and, and, and this and that? Well, guess what? If you're a rusher, yeah, you're going to get punished. So if you're a rusher, don't buy Call of Duty Modern for 2. Simple as that. <laughs> because they're not, they're they're not going to change it. I feel that that is something that they actually need to change. They need to move the stupid dead silence to the perk system and put it on the same perk tier as goes. So make your choice. You either get not shown on the UAB, and you get that silence. I mean, not shown on the UAB, and you get ghosts, or you don't have footsteps. That enemy can hear it, but you might show up on the minimap if they pull out a UAB. Anyway, footsteps. Footsteps audio 
in week one of the multiplayer beta was very high, true. Giving players a long distance directional information about enemies. For weekend two, we have some changes coming in. We are reducing the range of the footsteps audio for the various player movement stakes, jog sprint, and tactical sprint. This will help soften the cost of moving around the map. The second change is that the enemy and friendly footsteps are now distinct. This should be this should help players better understand what's going on on things moving around on the battlefield. More details to follow. I would I would assume that this is a great improvement. Um, from the start, I don't know why it wasn't like this already from the start because any any player that tested the game should have seen hey. Footsteps are kind of loud in this build of the game, you know, like, can we tone it down a little bit? But apparently they they, they waited until the beta to come out to actually say, hey, we're going to fix some things that you guys were complaining so that you guys realize that, hey, we are listening to the community. Nah, you're not listening. Slight. Well, they are listening, just that not the way that most hardcore fans are claiming. Slides. Sentiment around the removal of slide canceling remains positive. We are aware of a workaround and are contemplating how to handle it for weekend two of the beta. Additionally, we have some other slight changes for lunch, which will make this movement feel a bit more fluid and snappy. Stay tuned to Infinity War channels for more details on changes will be implemented on beta ahead of weekend two. And then it goes out by saying that Thursday 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to have the cross plus Crossplay beta for those who pre-order the game and get early access. Or if you're on PlayStation, you can also play it. But anyway, um, yeah, like, my take on this is that Infinity War is actually listening, but not. In the way that they're actually listening to the community, there's, they're, for example, the, the, the perk system, they're actually, quote-unquote, going to tweak it. They're going to look at it, target, target tracking. Tracking was one of the biggest, also one of the biggest things that it was uploaded on Reddit. And they're actually listening to it. But for example, minimap, minimap dots. Like seriously, dude, that that is so pathetic. Same with that silence. Oh, we we, we believe that it's important for the game health that rushers are not able to move at high speeds around the map without consequences. Come on, man. That that is my playstyle to be a rusher. Now you're punishing me. You were saying that we cater for everybody, but now you're not. But anyway, we'll have to see, and we'll have to wait and see how these changes actually play out. Specifically going into weekend number two, which I'm more than likely going to play. Like, it, it is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's, it's a series that I always have liked, even though I probably will buy this one, make a few videos out of it. And on month number two, maybe month number three, I will get mad of it and quit and, and not play it again because of skill-based matchmaking, um, lobby dismantling, which they, they didn't talk it in here. And I hope that they say something about it or that on, on weekend two of the beta, we... For some reason, we get that that system, but I don't think it's gonna change due to skill-based matchmaking and how that system works. But anyway, that was all for today. Just give me a thumbs up if you like this video, comment whatever you what would you would like to get changed on the Modern Warfare 2 game if you had the chance. And if you like this video and want to see more on the future, on the future maybe maybe you should subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know what I mean? So yeah, take care, guys.